let's quickly prep the skin so that way it can look good while I put on the rest of the stuff first. So that way I don't look too destroyed right now, so. Anyways, let's go ahead and get started here. Hello everybody and welcome to my channel. My name is Frankie Blue. And ma'am, of course, you know, we are back with a, another video. Sometimes I really have no idea how to start these videos. I'm usually like kind of awkward in the beginning or something, I don't know, something's wrong with me to the point where I'm just like, I don't know what to say, I get really shy. <laughs> don't look at me. This is what, this is how I do it. This is how I get, get the nerves out, get ready for these videos. Let's do this. So we are back with another video, of course. And for today's video, as you guys see from the title, I'm gonna be playing with the Makeup Revolution or the Revolution, what is this, Revolution Beauty? I'm gonna be playing with the Chilled Cannabis Palette from Makeup Revolution right here. As you all know, I do love Makeup Revolution. I do think that they have some pretty good stuff. I'm not gonna lie, they do have some misses here and there and everything, but all in all, I still think it's a solid brand. I do love a lot of their eyeshadows. I'll be completely honest. I haven't played with this since I actually got this. Actually, this was gifted to me on my birthday last year, which actually my birthday was like on June 26th of last year. And I turned 31 years old. Oh, that's so sad. Anyways, but I decided, I was like, you know what? For the New Year's, let's start bringing in and let's start using these palettes right here. So I want to play with this one right here. So that's what we're going to be doing for today's video. We're going to be diving into this palette right here. Before we go ahead and get started here, you guys, make sure you guys hit the subscribe button. It's going to be found right down there. Go ahead and be part of the blue community. As well as make sure you guys hit that like button. That's also going to be found right down there. That tells me and that tells YouTube that you guys enjoyed today's video. And as well as if you guys want to check me out on my social media handles, they will be found in the description box down below. What is Instagram? What is Twitter? What is TikTok? Yeah, if you guys want to follow me on social media, it's all going to be found in the description box down below. And let me go ahead and give you guys some words of encouragement. Um, at the end of the day, it's okay to be a hot mess. You know what? The struggle is real. That's life. We learn and we grow from our messy moments, and that's okay. So, yeah. All right, guys. So, <laughs> my nose is a let me go ahead and start showing you guys how this palette looks like, starting with the packaging right here. I love the design. Look at how beautiful this looks. It is a metal casing kind of packaging, so yeah, it's not cardboard or anything. It's a, it's a metal case, so love it, love it. Of course, it's all weed inspired and all this and that, or I think because it also has like cannabis in these eyeshadows, which is... I don't know if they make them any better. I never really understood the whole cannabis trend. Remember when that whole, every brand had to release products that had like weed inside of it, like cannabis in it? I never really understood why. Is it good? Is it all right? Like, is it supposed to make things better? Like, especially in skincare. Like, e.l.f. has a whole like cannabis, like skincare collection, which I never tried. I don't know why. I, I, I don't know. It doesn't seem... I don't know. I don't know. It's It just throws me off. Let me know in the comment section down below on uh, the benefits of cannabis and makeup and skincare. I mean, I know it's, it relaxes you, of course, but... <laughs> you know what? Shut up. I'm just gonna go. Anyways. So these are the colors of the palette. Look at how beautiful these are. Definitely a lot of, like, tone, blue-toned greens and... And, and, and a lot of like cool tone colors and things like that. So, love, love. Can you stop? You scared me. Oh, I need to bring somebody real quick because they're being brats. Say hi. I got him a cute little sweater, a cute little hoodie. It says, dad's awesome pup in the back. <laughs> it just looks so cute. Okay. Let me go to my video, please. Thank you. Again, these are what the colors looks like now, of course. Oh my god, I just shoved my finger into this. 
You guys already know that I love me some bold colors. I love me out of the out of the ordinary colors, you know, colors that people won't normally use. Like I just I just love it. That's just that's just me. I just don't get me wrong, I do love me a good like natural neutral you know, colors, but I gear towards more like bolder colors. That's just me. I can't I can't help it. I forgot how much this palette actually costs. So I will leave a um uh, a, a thing here that will tell you how much the palette is. Of course, you can find this palette at the uh, Makeup Revolution website, as well as you can also, if you want to see it, you can go to your local Ulta and check it out in person. They do have this and the other stuff from the Cannabis Collection um, at the Ulta stores and Ulta.com. So just know that. All right, guys. So I'm just going to shut up. Let's go ahead and get started with this video. And um, let's go ahead and play with the chilled palette right here. So normally I would like prime my eyes using my MAC Pink Pot. But I forgot that I had bought myself a while back the Morphe Eyeshadow Primer. And I really, really, really love this primer. So I'm going to break this in. I need to give Pink Pot a break today. <laughs> you know what? Before I start... Let me bring you guys a little bit closer so you guys can see all the goodness. I'm going to take this like um, brown uh, blending brush. This is a Morphe blending brush. I don't know which kind, but it's this one. And I'm going to take this color right here and it's called Plant. And let's just take it all over the crease. Okay. So that blends out really nicely. I like how it builds up really beautifully. Like it starts off nice and soft, but as you gradually build it, oh, it just looks more incredible. So I really, 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 really love that color. Well, that worked out really nicely. Hmm. All right, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this nice bigger blending brush. This is from Bibella. This is the NG323 brush. And um, I'm going to go ahead and just kind of brighten it up the look a little bit and soften the edges of that first color with this shade right here called Leaf. Whoa. Um, I, whoa, I got too excited with that color. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> Okay, yeah, that color really impacted the pigment. Whoops. I didn't even dip my brush too hard on it. <laughs> my mistake, my mistake, my mistake. But other than that, that color did blend out really nicely. Um, it looks really pretty. Yeah, this is going to be a really bold look. So I did want to show you guys real quick. Um, I did dip my brush a couple of times. I don't know if you guys can tell. There's like very minimal fallout. And same thing with the plant color right here. Um, not really too big fallout. Um, there's a bit of a kick up, but... It doesn't bother me that much or anything like that. Some sl slight um, kick up from the eyeshadow. Nothing crazy or anything like that. All in all, I'm really, really, really liking this look. Okay, these, this is working out so far. All right, so I'm going to take this nice little small tapered brush. Again, this is from Bivea. This is the NG330 brush. And um, what I'm going to do now is we're going to deepen the eye now well the outer part of the eye and i'm going to take this color right here called burn let's go ahead and put this just on the outer part of the eye all right cool so now that we laid the groundwork let's go back with this brush right here just grab a little bit of that plant color and um i'm just gonna start kind of just blending everything together make sure that there's no harsh lines and there is a nice smooth gradation going on before I put on like any shimmers or do the rest of the eyes, let me go ahead and quickly do my face off camera and um, I will be right back and we're going to wrap this look up. So stay tuned. I am literally a fucking moron. I'm over here completing this eye look thinking that the camera was on the entire time and turns out that I was not even recording at all. I don't know why I thought I did press record, but I guess I didn't. Let me go ahead and explain what I did right now. <laughs> what I did while I was off camera, I took this pencil brush here from Dell Color, and what I did is I took this color right here called Natural, 
And I literally just kind of just took it literally all underneath the lash line and such. And what I'm doing now is I'm grabbing this tapered brush from Be Bella and I'm just kind of just blending everything out using the plant color, this one right here. So that's what we got going on now. I swear, I'm such an idiot. How the, how the hell did I not? <laughs> Anyway, so that's where we're at now. We're just blending now the, the plant color. I'm gonna take with my finger, I'm gonna take this shade right here called Mist. Should I take one of these glitters? Let me go ahead and just add a little bit of brightening. So I'm gonna take this nice little small flat brush and um, I'm gonna take this shade right here called, actually no, let's take this gold right here. It's called Acapulco, this one right here. It's usually I'm not a pressed glitter fan, but these are really kind of like calling me, especially this one right here. So you know what, usually, let's see how they apply just by itself with no like glitter glue or anything like that. So I'm gonna take this shade right here called Bud. Oh, 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 okay. Um, wow. <laughs> I was not expecting that. Holy crap. Ooh, that looks pretty. Ooh, ooh. Okay, I'm not kidding. This, I like how shimmery my eyes look. Oh my God. Okay, 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 okay. All right, let me go ahead and put on liner and lashes, put on lip, finish up this look, and then I will be right back, of course, with the final look. So stay tuned again for like the second time. <laughs> All right, cool. So this is the final look. What do we think? Mm. If you guys want to know what lip combo I'm using, I'm using uh, Jeffree Star's liquid lipsticks. This one in Scorpio all over the lip. And then just like in the center and all this stuff, I'm using birthday suit. So these two right here created this lip. Mm. Mm. All right, cool. So what do we think about the um, overall look? Like, are you guys here for it? I love it. I'm just going to be completely honest. I love it. Like literally, this is like, this is like me in one look. Literally me in one look and I'm here for it. That bud glitter all over the lid. Oh my God, look at how beautiful and reflective that looks. I think this palette is gonna make me wanna like press glitters. <laughs> Um, but what do we think of the overall look? Um, let me know in the comment section down below what you guys think of the um, of the look. Like, are you guys here for it? Do you guys like it? Is it crazy? Is it fun? Is this something you guys would try? Especially like my neutral girls out there. Let me know. Like my everyday girls. Is this something? Is this something that you guys would like totally like try out? Legit. Let me know. Let me know in the comment section below all right so final thoughts about the chilled uh palette here from Mika revolution i really 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 enjoyed like the colors that i picked i really enjoyed the quality of this palette i really i just overall i really 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 love this palette I had a great time using it and i just think this 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 was really good but overall i really 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 do like how this all worked out especially for like this look like we're here for this literally like we're here for this so honestly i highly recommend this palette right here and i think it's like 20 bucks i might be wrong but honestly i really really recommend this palette this is really good so far did i ever mention like this palette came out like a long time ago i forgot when <laughs> and now I'm doing like a video like years later. <laughs> of course, um, I will leave a link down below to the Makeup Revolution uh, site where you guys can check out this palette as well as Ulta.com. If you guys want to go see it and see other Makeup Revolution products, you guys of course know that it is carried in Ulta. Other than that, um, let me know what you guys' thoughts are of today's video in the comment section down below. Let me know if you guys think of the overall look. Like, are you guys here for it? Are you guys not here for it? 
as well as um if you guys have tried this palette and other makeup revolution products let me know what you guys think and your thoughts are same thing <laughs> in the comment section down below um i would love to know what you guys think of this so yeah of course before i let you guys go make sure you guys hit the subscribe button that's going to be found right down there going to be part of the blue community as well as make sure you guys hit the like button that's going to be found also right down there that tells me and that tells youtube that you guys enjoy overall today's video um and um also if you guys want to follow me on my social media handles um uh, you will find the links in the description box to instagram twitter and tiktok where you guys can follow me there too so yeah and I'll go ahead and leave you guys off with some words of encouragement. It's okay to be a hot mess. You know what? Life is all about being hot messes. And you know what? We learn and we grow from them. And again, there's nothing wrong with being a hot mess. The struggle is always going to be real. And that's okay. You know what? We overcome and we grow from them. So keep that in mind. All right, guys. And I think that is pretty much all that I have for you today. Um, thank you so much for watching, guys. And I will catch you in the next video. <laughs> Bye.